Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll go over the cast of 1974 Badlands Then and Now. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Number 10, Sissy Spacek as Holly Sargis. She played the main character of a love-struck 15-year-old girl living with her father. This role earned her a nomination for the British Academy Film for Most Promising Newcomer. Apart from that, this actress also received several nominations and awards from the Academy, British Academy Film, Golden Globes, Screen Actors Guild, Primetime Emmys, and the Grammys. She initially became a recording artist under the name Rainbow. She made her film debut as an extra in the 1971 Woman in Revolt. She rose to more fame for her role in the 1976 horror film Carrie. She was also recognized for her acting and musical prowess for the 1980 Coal Miner's Daughter, 1981 Raggedy Man, 1982 Missing, 1984 The River, 1986 Crimes of the Heart, 1991 JFK, and 2001 In the Bedroom. She was also in 2002 Chuck Everlasting, 2008 Four Christmases, 2011, The Help, and 2018, The Old Man and the Gun. Aside from films, she also appeared in television shows that proved her versatility, such as in 1995, The Good Old Boys, 2002, Last Call, Netflix Bloodline, which ran from 2015 up to 2017, Hulu horror series, Castle Rock, and Amazon Prime video thriller series, Homecoming. She and her family moved to a farm in Virginia, and she is now 72 years old. Number 9, Martin Sheen as Kit Carruthers. He played the handsome, cruel man who collects garbage after coming back from the war. Holly falls in love with him. Martin was first recognized for his role in the 1968 The Subject Was Roses. He was also recognized as Captain Benjamin Willard in the 1979 Apocalypse Now, as well as being the U.S. President Josiah Bartlett in the television show The West Wing, which aired from 1999 to 2006. He also appeared as Uncle Ben in the 2012 The Amazing Spider-Man and was also in the senior theme drama Grace and Frankie, which aired from 2015 up to 2022. Aside from his many accolades, he has worked with some of the big shot cinematic directors such as Attenborough, Coppola, Scorsese, Spielberg, and Stone. He has narrated, produced, and even directed a documentary for television and the 1990 film Cadence, wherein he starred with his sons Ramon and Charlie. Martin is also a liberal activist. He is now 81 years old. Number 8. Warren Oates as Father He played Holly's father. He was known as Officer Sam Wood in the 1967 In the Heat of the Night. Warren also appeared in several classic films of director Peckinpah, such as 1969 The Wild Bunch, 1971 The Hired Hand, and 1974 Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. He was also recognized as the American gangster Dillinger in the biopic 1973 film Dillinger. He appeared in the 1975 Race with the Devil and was known for 1977 Sleeping Dogs. He died at the age of 53 in 1982 due to a heart attack, and as per his wishes, his ashes were scattered at his ranch located in Montana. Number 7. Ramon Bieri as Cato He took the role of Kit's former co-worker. He was an American actor who appeared in several films and television series such as 1970, The Grasshopper, 1971, The Andromeda Strain, and NBC 1971 drama Sarge and the 1979 sitcom Joe's World. He was also in the 1981 short-lived TV show Brett Maverick and the 1981 film Reds, as well as in the 1984 Grandview USA and 1987 The Sicilian. His last episodic appearance was in HBO's Arliss of 2001. He died that same year due to cancer. Number 6. Alan Vint as Deputy He played a short supporting role. This actor made several guest appearances on television shows and often appeared in a supporting role in numerous classic films such as 1970 The McMasters, 1971 Two Lane Blacktop, 1971 The Panic in Needle Park, and Welcome Home Soldier Boys, 1972 Unholy Rollers, 1974 Macon County Line, 
1974 earthquake, 1975 breakout, 1979 checkered flag or crash, and 1979 the lady in red. He was a brother to another actor named Jesse Vint, whom he also co-starred in several films. He passed away due to pneumonia at 61 years old in 2006. Number 5. Gary Littlejohn as Sheriff As Sheriff, he played a featured extra. Gary was also best remembered for his works in the 1986 superhero theme Howard the Duck and 1987 neo-western horror Near Dark. He was also a stuntman and a coordinator for several films, not to mention Easy Rider, Breathless, and The Mask and Heat. He was the pioneer for the BMX bikes, which he made a lot of improvements on, and basically what the Little John bikes were known for. He manufactured the designs and set the standards of quality. He died in 2021 in his Vermont home. Number 4. John Carter as Rich Man he played the man who owned a mansion that the main leads took advantage of. John was also best remembered for his appearance in the 1983 drama Scarface, as well as in the 2006 comedy drama The Hoax. He was also recognized for his recurring role as the police Lieutenant Biddle on the TV show Barnaby Jones, in which he had the chance to direct two of its episodes. He died in 2015 at the age of 87 due to pneumonia. Number 3. Donna Baldwin as a maid. Donna, as a feature extra actress, also appeared in hit drama films such as 1958 The Cool and the Crazy, 1973 Terminal Island, and 1983 Scarface. Few has been recorded on the current projects of the said extra. Number 2. Brian Montgomery as Boy. He played a feature extra role. The child actor also appeared in the 1971 Western comedy Cat Ballou and another Western film, the 1978 Standing Tall. He also became a model and a restaurant owner in Malibu in Santa Monica. He died in 2008 at his home in Malibu, California, but the cause of death was not published. Number 1. Charlie Fitzpatrick as a clerk. He played more of a feature extra in the set. Interestingly, he lived in a nearby residence where the motion picture was being filmed in a small town located in Colorado. The actor Martin Sheen played pickup ball with his son in the city park which led Charles to be given a role in the movie. He was also considered by the locals as a veteran of many local productions and quite a movie expert. He even invited the Sheens over for dinner. He died in 2011 in Colorado. Other featured extra cast were Gail Threlkeld as a girl, the actor not the historian John Womack Jr. as Trooper, Donna Baldwin as a maid, Howard Ragsdale as boss, and Ben Bravo as a gas attendant. This American neo-noir crime drama is written and produced by Terrence Malick. It was also his directorial debut. He made a cameo as the man at the rich man's door, while Sheen's sons appeared as the two boys sitting under the lamppost. Critically acclaimed, this film is considered one of the most influential films of all time, preserved by the Library of Congress. Can't get enough of our fan facts? Tune in for more surprising stories. Click like and leave your thoughts in the comment section below.